To access the ACS application, go to the Operations Customer Portal and click Login. Enter your email address and password. Once logged in, the first page you will see is the Statements page, which shows a list of stations that belong to your organization. Let's look at the menus first. To access the User menu, click on your name on the top right. The menu shows your organization and role. You can also contact Transpower for assistance, access the ACS User Guide, manage your notifications, and log out of the ACS application. It is best practice to log out at the end of each session. The main menu is located on the left side of the page. If hidden, you can open it using the hamburger icon. The number of items you see here depends on your user permission level. The statements page is your main work area for viewing and managing asset capability statements for stations owned by your organization. The Users page is only available to admin users. This is where they manage their organization's users for the ACS application. The Contacts page is where admin and edit users enter and edit contact details for an organization. View only users won't see this page. Creating and editing contacts is covered in another tutorial. The Statements page shows a list of stations that belong to your organization. To create a new asset capability statement for a station, click Create. To view the information entered about a station and its assets, click Edit or View. At the bottom of the page, you can change how many stations are shown on one page or go to the next page. Sort stations by clicking on a column header. Use the quick filter box to search. You can use additional filters to create a complex search. Click on History to see the changes made to the previous version of the ACS. Adding a station to your watch list means you will receive an email notification when its state changes based on your selection under Manage Notifications, which is covered by another tutorial. You can export the ACS for one or multiple stations by clicking the tick boxes against stations in the list and then clicking Export. 